Hey, it's Erin with Snowberry Design Co. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I paint some different leaves, sprigs, and ferns. All of the products I'm using will be linked down in the description box below. I'll also have a link to my new Amazon store which has all of my favorite products, so be sure to check it out. One thing I really wanted to show in this video is how many shades of green you can get by mixing in other colors, and why I don't rinse off my palette very often. I love to create new colors by mixing with the colors that are already there. See how many new colors you can mix by starting with just one color and then watching it slowly evolve. For this first branch, I just used Windsor Newton Hooker's Green. It's a great shade of true green, and next to the other greens that I'll paint in a little bit later, it looks a little too vibrant and unrealistic. And sometimes that's the look I'm going for, and other times I just want something that's toned down a little bit. So to get that toned down realistic look, I've added a little bit of red to my green, which sounds crazy, but I promise it works. <laughs> it just tones down the green and makes it feel more realistic. After that, I decided I wanted it a little bit darker, so I added a bit more green, blue, and red without adding in a ton of water to get that darker shade. For the next sprig, I just added some yellow to my mixed green. For these leaves, I'm pressing down with my brush and lifting up quickly to create that pointed end. For this next leaf, I added in just a little bit more green. Now I'm adding in even more green and a little bit of orange to create this forest green. If you don't have orange, you could always add in a little bit of yellow and red. Now I'm using this lighter blue and mixing just a tiny bit of that forest green into it to create the seeded eucalyptus.
I'm starting with a brown stem and then painting the rounded eucalyptus leaves at the end of each of the smaller stems. Once I've got the leaves in place, I'm adding in the seeds since this is a seeded eucalyptus. So to create the seeds, I'm just painting little dots and then pulling one stem from the dots to the stems I've already got down on the paper. Next, I'm adding a bit of brown to my green mixture. I didn't mix it all the way so that I'd get some really nice color variations without having to try too hard. Next, I've added in a little bit of blue to get this darker green leaf. I got the texture in these leaves by just adding smaller brush strokes to create the leaf and then adding the stem at the bottom. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. It's totally free to subscribe and you'll be notified when I post a new video. If you try this or any of my other tutorials, please post a picture over on Instagram and tag me at Snowberry Design Co and use the hashtag Snowberry Tutorial. Tell me in the comments which flowers or leaves you'd like to see next. I've been keeping a list of requests that I'll be getting around to, so be sure to come back to see if I've painted your favorite flower. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!